people will receive uh, correspondence letters in the mail. I had an example. I don't know what I, what, uh, what happened to it, but let's say that this is a bill from a debt collector. You open it up in the, in the uh, from the mail, and you're like, okay, ABC Collection Company um, collecting debt on behalf of AT and T. You have 30 days to respond to this, or we will assume everything is correct and report on your credit report. A lot of people, they get scared of these correspondence letters, right? And the thing that hurts them is um, they admit through their silence that they are guilty, okay? There's actually a, a law that you know will enable companies, debt collectors, for example, to report information on your credit report because through your silence, you admitted that you were guilty. And oftentimes when debt collectors will send you this correspondence letter, they're inviting you to do business with them, okay? And because you ignore the actual letter, because you ignored that, you have 30 days to respond, 30, 30 days, okay? Because you ignored that, you're admitting that what they're uh, saying is true, and that gives them the legal ability to report that on your credit report without any penalty, okay? And what you want to do is you actually want to respond to that and dispute it. You want them to prove to you that they have the, the legal ability and that you refuse to do business with them, okay? And a lot of times, uh, people are allowing collections to be reported on their credit report when actually you can prevent that from happening if you respond to the correspondence letters. So do not ignore these letters. Um, you always want to respond to them. You have 30 days. Um, and that 30 day window is critical, okay? So you may be someone where you have received a correspondence letter in the last 30 days. Make sure you respond to that and let them know that you know you don't wanna do business with them, prove that debt, otherwise cease all collection efforts. And that's one way where you can prevent that account from being added to your credit report, or if they added it uh, prematurely, you can get it deleted from your credit report because you're refusing to do business with them, okay? Just a note, this is not my bill. Exactly. It's not my bill. All right. Um, but yeah, you can let them know like, hey, this is not my bill. I don't, I, I never did business with you. I refuse to do business with you until you can provide me information that says otherwise, cease all collection efforts and remove this from my credit report. Okay. So that's the second way to delete uh, collections from your credit report, responding to the correspondence letters. <laughs>